What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. There have been a lot of rumblings about a potential Chance Crawford versus Sean Porter fight. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of people speculating about that could be the next fight. Uh, Bob Aaron made some comments uh, that that's the fight that they were going to be targeting, man, a potential fight with Sean Porter. You know, Bob Aaron wasn't speaking too highly of Sean Porter before the Errol Spence fight. But after the Errol Spence fight, you know, he said Sean Porter put on a hell of a performance and uh, that he, he would have no problem uh, trying to make that fight happen next for uh, Bud Crawford. He said that before the uh, crawford uh, Cavalaskis fight. Now, Terrence Crawford has came out and said uh, he was at the DAZN fight. Let's, let me set the stage for this. Uh, he was at the DAZN fight between uh, Chavez Jr. versus uh, Jacobs. Uh, he had one of his uh, stable mates, uh, Maurice Hooker, was on the undercard. Maurice Hooker knocked some some joker out in the first round, uh, knocked him out, put him to sleep in the first round. And uh, Bud Crawford was there to support his stable mate as his uh, manager and trainer, uh, Bo Mack, trains uh, Terrence Crawford and Maurice Hooker. Now, he was out there, uh, you know, shooting the, uh, shooting the shit with uh, Eddie Hearn, you know, who put on the show. He was out there shooting the shit with Eddie Hearn, talking with, talk with Eddie Hearn, and he told Eddie Hearn, he said, look, man, I wouldn't, uh, I would, I would like to get the winner of, uh, of uh, Garcia versus Vargas. You know, they were uh, promoting that fight, too, as they both guys got in the ring, and they were setting the stage for a fight between those two guys. I think it's supposed to be February 29th, and the fight's going to be on the zone as uh, M Mikey Garcia has signed a, a, a one-fight deal with the zone with the option for another fight after that. I don't know if the option lies with the uh, match room or does it lies with uh, Mikey Garcia. That's what we're going to have to try to find out in the uh, coming days and coming weeks, man. What, what, what's that option? Well, who, who's, who's in control of the option? Is it Mikey Garcia or is it match room? That's going to that's gonna, uh, that's gonna let a lot of people know, clear a lot of things up as far as uh, does Mikey, still is he still in the running for uh, Manny Pacquiao's next fight? Because Manny Pacquiao's slated to come back uh, sometime late spring, early summer of 2020. So we'll see. We'll, we'll be keeping the eyes on that and keeping dibs on that, too. But as far as uh, Terrence Crawford goes, he said his focus is not on Sean Porter. He wants to fight the winner of uh, Garcia Vargas, and that's what he's looking at right now. Now, that's gonna that's kind of very interesting, you know, because Kenny Porter has been very vocal here the last couple of weeks saying that, hey, man, you know, he's telling Bob Arum, hey, you know, I'm just waiting on the call, man. I've talked with Sean. He's on board with everything. That's the fight we're looking to uh that's, that's, that's a fight that we could be uh, looking to uh, make happen next. You know, I just need to have that phone call with uh, Bob Aaron. You know, uh, you got to understand with Kenny and Sean, they very, they really, really enjoyed, uh, you know, the lead up and being involved in a big pay-per-view fight with Errol Spence. They don't want to take no step backwards. You know, a lot of people's eyes, they thought they won. You know, a lot of people's eyes uh, felt that they even won that fight, you know. You know, people, more than the majority of people thought Errol won it, but he had a lot of people that thought... Uh, Sean Porter won that fight. So they, they don't want to take a step forward backwards. They don't want to be saying, okay, after they be in a big pay-per-view fight with Earl Spence, you know, taking a step back, fighting, uh, you know, Andre Berto rematch, uh, Jose Suto Lopez, uh, or Robert Guerrero, or somebody of that, of that caliber. That You know, that would be a step back. Because them, them, any one of those three fights would not be on uh, pay-per-view. You know, that would be, you know, on Fox or on Showtime. So then they're they looking to be in another big, big fight. And uh, that represents Ter Terrence Crawford. If they can't get the Manny Pacquiao fight, which I'm hearing they're still in the running for that fight, they want uh, they, they, you know, they, they cut, they, 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 they're, uh, they're putting, uh, let me put it like this, they, uh, I, I don't know if they're leveraging. I think they're serious. Let me just get that out the way. I'm until uh, proven otherwise. I'm gonna say Kenny and Sean are really uh, true about wanting that fight. You know, I could see, you know, in a way that they might be leveraging that fight to, you know, to set, to put pressure on PBC. The PBC say, oh, we don't want Sean Porter to go over there and, and possibly take a loss to Terrence Crawford. Let's uh keep him here and give him the uh, Manny Pacquiao fight. And that'll, that'll keep him over here because he'll actually make more money in a Manny Pacquiao fight than a Terrence Bud Crawford fight. And that's that's what uh, Kenny Porter and them might be doing in the back of their mind. But I'm going to say they're sincere about wanting to uh, make the fight between Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford needs to... Uh, try to make that fight happen. I know him and Sean Porter are good friends, but it's not like you guys are brothers. You guys came up in the uh, amateurs together. You know, y'all done broke bread. You know, y'all good friends. 
you know, your father's a, a get along, your father and uh, Terrence's uh, and, uh, manager, Bo Mack get along good. So that's that's all well and good, man. But, you know, you need to make this fight happen, man. This just the best available available fight, the best available fight for both guys. Terrence Crawford, you ain't got no options, man. Who you going to fight? You're not getting Mikey Garcia, Jesse Vargas winner. You're not, that's not going to happen. You're not getting that. You didn't, Ed Heron is already saying that he's going to try to, if Mikey wins that fight, he's going to try to make Mikey Garcia and Manny Pacquiao for the zone. He's already stated that. They're not, they're not going to fight, put him in there with uh, Terrence Croft, Crawford. They're not going to put Mikey Garcia in there with Terrence Crawford. If Jesse Vargas wins, he's not trying to fight uh, Terrence Crawford. He's, he's even uh, talking about going back up to 154 and he's chasing the uh, Jaime McGill fight if he wins that, or maybe fighting the Liam Smith. It's, now one of those guys are going to fight you next. So forget about this. You have no other options, man. Top rank don't have any top names at welterweight. You know, even your, even the guys from uh, Russia that uh, got belts, like Best Putin, he's not finna fight you next. He's gonna fight. Um, I think he's got a um, a fight with uh, Udonis Ugas. You know, that's that's a mandatory. That's a uh, fight that's been called. I think that's gonna be a WBA uh, interim belt or maybe a WBA. Uh, might be for the uh, no. Nah, that's gonna my bad. I don't say intro. I'm getting it wrong. That's gonna be a WBA regular for the WBA regular bill. You know, your Don Zuga's got a fight coming up February first against uh, Mike Dallas Jr. But if he, I don't know if that's a stay busy fight or well, they they're gonna uh, he's gonna bypass that WBA ordered fight. I don't know what the situation is on that yet, and they need to be uh, some clarity on exactly what's going on. That's just a stay busy fight, or is, or is uh, PBC move, looking to move him into another direction and not worry about trying to get the WBA regular. Uh, title from uh best Putin. we'll see what happens on that that front but uh you know you got best Putin, and maybe he's maybe he's available but that's not a big name that fight does nothing for terrence crawford then you got the other guy uh i can't even remember his name he's another uh eastern european fighter Ka, he started with a k i'm not even finna uh butcher his name but he's supposed to be fighting fighting uh sergey libanese that's supposed to be a fight on the ibl for for the ibl for um, mandatory position for Errol Spence. They talking about putting that fight on the undercard of uh, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, too. So uh, all those guys are booked, even on your side. You know, the guys you can potentially fight. And even those guys, that's those, guys those guys don't move the needle. So what I'm saying is this, Terrence, you're going to have to take the fight with uh, Sean Porter, man. You've got to pursue that fight. That's what you got to do, man. You, you have no other choice. You know, you you know, Bob Aaron was talking about Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor's not fighting. He's standing one for it. He's he's chasing a unification fight with uh, Jose Ramirez Jr. Jose Ramirez Jr. just came out a couple of days ago saying that yeah, he want to fight Terrence Crawford, but not right now. He's still looking to clean out one forty. So that fight's not going to happen in twenty twenty. Twenty twenty one would be the earliest that fight could happen. So Terrence, pa, pa, Terrence Crawford needs a dance partner. He needs to. Uh, you know, swallow his pride, quit thinking he's a uh, thinking he's the uh, top dog at 147 and thinking that he got all the cards to play and he's the man in the place to be right now. That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? He needs to fight Sean Porter. That could be a big fight. That type of fight will, will, is going to probably end up have to go on ESPN pay-per-view or at least ESPN Plus apps because both guys are going to probably command at least $5 million a piece for that, for that encounter. So top rank. And Bob Aaron going to have to put up the money for that fight. Either uh, put it up for the money or put it on pay-per-view and try to sell the hell out of that fight where both guys can uh, clear $5 million at least or put it on uh, ESPN Plus and, uh, you know, do the same thing, sell the hell out of that fight. Uh, no, Sean Porter's a pretty good talker, but uh, going to have to come out this year. He's going to have to do some uh, do some uh, talking and pump that fight up and try to sell the hell out of that on ESPN Plus. That's, that needs to be the fight to be made. Bud Crawford needs to uh, wake up and smell a uh, coffee. Quit thinking uh, that he's gonna get keep getting these fights. Uh, I'm, I want the Mikey Garcia Vargas win. That's what I'm focused on. You're not gonna get that fight, bud. You're not getting Errol Spence next either. You're not getting uh, Keith Thurman. You're not getting Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia, if he beats Ivan Reddick, he's gonna fight Errol Spence in the summer of 2020. Okay. If uh, Errol, you know that's what's gonna happen. Them two gonna be locked up. Okay. So you're not getting either one of those guys. Keith Thurman is still chasing a Manny Pacquiao rematch. You know he and he's he's injured right now. So when he comes back, he's not gonna. He, if he don't get the uh, Manny Pacquiao rematch, he's gonna he's gonna fight uh, a lesser tier opponent. He's not gonna get in there with any of the top dogs outside of Manny Pacquiao. He's gonna probably chase, you know, maybe Andre Berto fight, or uh, maybe chase, uh, you know, one of those one of those people, Jamal James or somebody like that. He's not gonna uh, chase a, a 
a big name opponent uh, if it's not Manny Pacquiao. So forget about any of those guys, man. Sean Porter is the best available name, a guy that's fought everybody. He's got one of the best resumes in boxing. Make that fight happen, Terrence Bud Crawford, because right now you're looking bad out here in these streets. Talking about you do not focus on Sean Porter and you chasing a, a Garcia Vargas winner when that's not going to happen. Neither one of those guys going to fight you next. That's just my opinion on it. Uh, Merry Christmas to all my uh, subscribers. I know it was a belated a day late. I was going to try to do a video yesterday, man, but I was, with, I was with family and friends, man, watching a lot of NBA, playing dominoes, playing breaking bones and stuff like that, playing them bones. That's how we call it down south, playing them bones down there. Getting to get a chance to do a video, man, because I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about. I really wanted to talk about this subject yesterday, but couldn't do it, man. I was enjoying my uh, Merry Christmas uh, with family and friends, man, but... uh. Again, man, Merry Christmas. I know it's a day late, so it's a belated Merry Christmas. And uh, I'll be doing some more videos as I hear boxing news come up and stuff like that that I want to talk about. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.